Hey everyone, this is Nick DeRobertis teaching you financial modeling. Today, we're going to be solving the lab exercise on free cash flow calculation. This is part of our lecture segment on free cash flow estimation and forecasting, which is part of our broader goal in the course of building out the full discounted cash flow valuation of a stock. So, uh, this lab exercise came at the end of the historical free cash flow material and we have two levels. So the first level here, we're given some values on net income, non-cash expenditures, accounts receivable, inventory payable, PPE changes, and the depreciation and amortization amount, and we need to calculate the free cash flows. Um, and we'll be going with the um, formula seen here in the slides in order to achieve that. So we can hop over to a Jupyter Notebook to do the calculations. So the first thing I'll do is set up all the variables. So we have uh, net income is 300. Uh, we have non-cash expenditures is 100. <clears throat> the accounts receivable it change is 1,000. The uh, inventory change is 500. The accounts payable change is 800. And the PPE is 2000 PPE change. And the uh, depreciation and amortization is 200. So we ultimately want to do um, net income net income um, and we want to add the non-cash expenses um, and then next we need to subtract the networking capital so we don't have the networking capital yet we need to calculate that first uh, so in order to calculate the networking capital we are going to take uh, well the change in networking capital because we have all changes to work with we're going to take the change in accounts receivable. To that, we're going to add the inventory change. And from that, we're going to subtract the accounts payable change. Um, and that would represent our change in networking capital. Uh, so, and we can bring that in there in the negative. Um, and then we want to subtract the capital expenditures last, but again, we don't have the capital expenditures. We need to calculate that. So for the capital expenditures, it's going to be the change in the property, plant, and equipment plus the depreciation amount. So that is going to be the capex. And so we're going to subtract that capex as well. Um, so that leads us to um, a networking capital, change in networking capital of 700. Uh, the uh, uh, wait, okay, the um, looking back at the problem, the PBE uh, change is supposed to be 2000, not 200. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Now I'm able to match my uh, solution. The CapEx is 2200, change in networking capital is 700, and the um, net income or the free cash flows are negative uh, 2500. So that's the first exercise. And now the second exercise uh, we have to use the actual income statement and balance sheet data and calculate free cash flows from that. Um, so we can go ahead. I'm going to import pandas. Um, and I'm also going to uh, import from fin statement. I'm going to import the uh, balance sheet, uh, income statement, and financial statements. Um, so then I can 
uh, read in the Excel files. Um, so this would be the income data frame, Walmart income statement. But we see it comes in. Um, we want to set the first uh, column as the index column. So that those statement line items become uh, the index. Now this looks right in the structure we need it for print statement. So then we can uh, do the same with the balance sheet data frame or balance sheet uh, Excel file, uh, Walmart balance sheet. Same thing over here with the index column. And this looks right. Um, so then we can um, create the balance sheet and income statement from those data frames. So, um, so the income statement is going to be income statements uh, from the data frame of the uh, income statement data frame. And the uh, balance uh, sheet, we're going to create that in a similar way from the data frame of the balance sheet data frame. And then we can create the financial statements from the uh, income statement and the balance sheet. So then it loads it in um, to fin statement. So then we will uh, be able to work with it. So then the question is asking about um, calculating the free cash flows. Um, and so for calculating free cash flows in fin statement, that is uh, simple. You just do statements.fcf um, and that gets us the free cash flows. And there we're done. We have it calculated for every period. Um, now, if you wanted to go about it a little bit more manual way, um, we can use those same components that we uh, used in the level one problem. We can take the uh, net income and we can add uh, the non-cash expenses and we can subtract um, the uh, change in the networking capital um, and we can subtract the capex um, and we'll get the same result as uh, accessing the fcf directly so that covers both of these lab exercises on calculating free cash flows so thanks for listening and see you next time